Macros are a really important feature in Ableton. And what it is, is you'll notice that these are knobs that can affect different parameters across your whole instrument or effect chain. For example, with this instrument example here, as a change, the macro, I get different results. So the way that this works is, as you see all these green dots, these are all things that have been mapped. So for example, if I wanted to add another effect here, let's just add auto filter. And just to make this easier to see, I'll just drag it over here. And now what I could do is, let's say I want to affect the cutoff frequency. So I'll click here and I'll assign this to macro nine. And I'll also assign the Q to macro nine as well. So now both of these are being affected equally. So then I could come over here and I could find my auto filter right here, frequency. So I could control the amount of the frequency and the amount of auto filter resonance. So let's bring this resonance down here and we'll bring this down to max here. And we'll put our minimum up a little bit higher. There we go. So once I get out of that, and then you could come over here and name this. So we'll just call this filter. And now I've just created, as you can see, a knob that affects two different parameters. <laughs> So that's macros.